crazy to be going to a foreign country with just this across the globe. I'm pretty glad we had a weight limit because we're really just bringing exactly what we need. The weight limit's 44 pounds per person, including your carry-on. They also asked us what our individual weight is because we're taking various small planes. First leg of the journey is about to begin. Just met up with mom here in Atlanta. Yes, we're at the international terminal of the Atlanta Jackson Hartsfield International Airport. We're about to get on our 14 hour flight to Johannesburg. 15 and a half. Very, very long plane flight. Thank The mighty Zambezi is one of Africa's great rivers, flowing widely over basalt rock and Kalahari sands. Annual rains bring water to the dry bush and swell the river. During the dry season, the river carries less water. Islands scatter the surface, offering safe sanctuaries to the wealth of wildlife that live along its margins. You can find hippos, crocs, elephants, alongside many other creatures. However, we're here for what swims within the deep channels of the Zambezi, the African tigerfish. Tigerfish are predatory freshwater fish known widely for their interlocking razor sharp teeth. They have streamlined muscular bodies and are extremely aggressive predators who often hunt in groups. They are silvery in color with thin black stripes running horizontally along their bodies and a red forked caudal fin with a black edge. Males are larger and more full bodied than females. Tigerfish thrive in highly oxygenated water in warm climates. They mainly live near the bottom of large freshwater rivers and lakes that they inhabit. Today, Erica and I are gonna go do some fly fishing. We were thinking about going out on our own and just tootling around with the rods on the side of the river and see if we can go wade, but we were informed that there are lots of crocodiles and hippos and other creatures that are out to get us. So we hired a local guide to take us out on his boat, and he's not a fly fishing guide. He's just a regular conventional fishing guide, but he will accommodate us with our fly tackle. So that's kind of my goal on this trip is to catch some tiger fish. Heard about them, read about them, seen some pictures, and they're super cool predators. I love fishing streamers. I love fishing for predator fish. So we're gonna rig up our eight, nine weight rods and get on the boat with our guide and see where he takes us. respect to the hippos. Oh yeah. These are the killing machines of Africa. <laughs> they just kill you for fun, for just for trespassing. He's staring at us. He's like, get, get off my lawn. So tying on my Andino's Deceiver. Tied this right before the trip. So very excited our guide chose this one for me to fish first. Very good. Let it sink for a while. Yeah. Get down. It's harder to get the fly down like with the lure. Yeah, for sure. The, the lure is having the lip. Once you start retrieving, then it dives. 
Yeah. yeah. But they, these ones, they don't have. There's the opposite. You retrieve and it comes up. Yes. Oh, that was a fish. That was a fish. I, I trout set it. We're in a wild place, Erica. Oh, wow. What's up, the buzz? There, Mr. Tigerfish. Yeah. Oh! Uh, you caught him, you caught him, you caught him. Set the hook, yes. set, set the hook again. Yes! Yeah! Sick. <laughs> All right. Well, first tiger fish of the trip, right there. It's a little guy on the fly. Yeah! Got some chases, got some eats. We know the fish are here. There's a great little shakedown with tiger fish. It's time to pack up the rods and head to the airport, get on a little plane, and head to the next stop of our trip. Yeah, we did try. These guys, they were, they was, they were amazing to me. From me, Captain Masao, <laughs> I've never seen some people who can fish like this. Thing. Under the trees, anyway, no loss of tackle. I'm happy. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah, okay. I hope we'll see you soon again. Yes. We'll be Thank back. You. We'll be back. <laughs> well, tiger fishing far exceeded my expectations. Learned a lot. Very first time, very first experience fishing for tiger fish. I'm really looking forward to getting back out on the lower Zambezi River later in our trip. So for now, we're going to hop on a small charter plane and we're going to fly out into the bush and go on some safaris for the next week or so. Safari has unfortunately come to an end. We're here at the airport, about to hop on the little plane behind me and head on to the next segment of our trip. We are going to the Zambezi River and it's time for a little bit of fly fishing.
think it was beeping because there was a warning for being a little cricket. <laughs> the major uh, Jurassic Park vibes here. <laughs> Siraj, Suzanne Dancy, Suzanne Dancy, nice to meet you. And William. Siraj, nice to meet you. I am well. Well, nice to meet you, I'm Siraj. Yes, yeah. Oh, I'm going to be guiding you trying to cast a fly in this wind. Yeah. Oh, good to have you guys. Drink. Hi, That's Erica. Nice it's a Jaeger shot. Nice to meet you. Oh. No, no, I'm Jack. <laughs> 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 good to meet you. I'm well. Oh, nice to meet you. Cheers. Welcome, welcome. Cheers. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Mm -hmm. I'm sure Cheers. you're going to have a great time. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Well, we just left camp, headed out for our first round of tiger oh, fishing. Good afternoon. Here we are on our first day exploration trip. This afternoon, we're going to go up on the mighty Zambezi River and hopefully tackle probably the strongest fighting fish in the Zambezi River, pound for pound, um, target fish. Okay, so there's cruise boat, transfer boat, and fishing boat, this one in front of us. Fishing boat. Yeah, right. that's the one. Uh, these ones are unweighted flies, mostly. It's gonna be good. Uh, I'll fish that first. I was liking that one. I was really liking it. It's gonna sink well. And then I have a bunch of like bait fish patterns. Okay, like oh. Blue, white, and that, that iridescent sort of color. That shine, that sheen is what I like love. I absolutely love that. This stuff, this one. That's a goodie. So fly fishing, fly fishing is pretty recent for me. I've been doing it for about four years now. What can I say? It's probably the most rewarding way of catching a fish, trying to match your nymphs and your, your little minnows and your bait fish, and you're trying to match a hatch and just replicate what's in the water. And it's probably the most natural way of fishing. So I'm born in Zimbabwe, my parents are born in Zimbabwe, I'm fourth generation, grown up here all my life and been very fortunate enough to actually grow up in the safari and tourism industry. My parents used to run lodges and camps and all my school holidays and weekends, I'd be pretty much on safari. And if it wasn't looking at lions, um, buffalo or searching for leopard and learning how to track and follow all the signs, wherever there was a body of water, I'd be out there with a fishing rod. I mean, from a bamboo pole and a piece of line and a piece of slip stop as a float or a little barber to now casting bait casters and fly fishing for tiger on the mighty Zambezi. Um, there's so many different methods and ways and species of fish. Um, right here, as a sport fish, there's at least 12 different species of fish you can target, which is where it's going to keep you occupied and excited for days. I mean, there's so many fish to catch. And yeah, you just upgrade and you want to catch a bigger one and bigger one and bigger one. Please, whatever you do, don't fall in, hey? Oh, yeah. Two big crocodiles, maybe come back a bit. Sometimes you won't even make it from here to the edge. Holy so crap. You'd be pretty, if you're unlucky. That's scary. Tiger fish have been known to come flying out the water and catch swallows and birds and stuff. Oh, really? Yeah. Pretty That's ferocious. That's insane. Yeah. The documentary of them in the Okavango, where they come up, all these swallows come skimming off the water and these things are coming out. Whop, grabbing these swallows out the sky. That's absolutely insane. Yeah. Yeah. And size? Probably that big. Oh. Right on the Zambezi. Right on the Zambezi. Yeah. <laughs> when you do catch that fish, it's it's absolutely rewarding. It's like it's like artwork out there, casting that fly, reading the wind, reading the water. And yeah, I think I think it's a way forward. It's a way we should be fishing. And it's just adrenaline pump. Your heart just goes. You get a big one on the boat. Your legs are shaking. It's just it's just exciting. And you just get such a pump. Yeah. Holy cow. Oh, the fly just came out. Oh, oh that's nice. Oh. Look at that. Goodbye, fish. Thank you. That one worked? Nice. 
Yeah. This is 2.17. Nice. I think it was more. Good one. Yeah, that was sweet. It's your PV so far. It is my PV. Nice. Thank you, Siraj. Very good. Well done. Wow, what an aggressive strike. <laughs> that was insane. Beautiful. Okay, let's get another. Right, look at this sunset going on, too. No, wait until you see my I'm surrounded in beauty. Beautiful mountain ranges, pristine rivers, um, no pollution of any sort. I mean, you wake up early in the morning and you're excited, you've got all your gear, on your way for a cup of coffee, and there's elephant, a whole herd of elephant in front of you, on the pathway. We're in the wilderness. We're out here where wildlife has been here for for centuries. So we're their guests. We're gonna respect them, give them space. Not only elephant, we had a leopard walk through camp the other night. We're all in our beds, fast asleep, dreaming about the next big tiger fish to catch. And all this is happening outside around you. But yeah, you just gotta be careful, not only with crocodiles and hippo, but I mean, there's lions and elephant out there. If you're a photographer, you'll have a great time. If not, just focus on the fishing, catching a big tiger, get some finger burners. Oh, he's pretty. Yeah. That's a pretty Woo! little thing. How's that fight? Pretty strong, hey? Yeah, I thought it was Powerful good. fish. Look at that mouth. That's sweet. Absolutely inhaled that fly. Oh, righty, go grow bigger. Oh, you see that? Oh, I missed the strip. So those little tigers are so aggressive. Oh, they just hammer the fly with out holding oh. back at all. They go so fast and it's like, the more you speed up your fly, the more they want yeah. to eat it. Fast stripping. Don't be shy. You can never strip it oh, fast enough. There. Oh, 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 he got it. He got it. He got it. He got it. <laughs> They're stacked in there. Yeah. They're not just one or two. They are yeah. shoal fish, depending on the time of the year you come. And bring lots of flies. If I mean, if you're a fly fisherman, you ties your own flies. You can never have too many. I'd suggest probably your eight weight being the best. Sinking line. Prince Bear line, floating line for gurglers and poppers. Oh, another bite. Oh, yeah. Nice little tiger. It only takes one or two fish to destroy a fly. So you might have your favorite fly in the box and the fish eats it and then yeah. destroys it. Weighted flies are great. Big fish, deep water, and big flies. Don't be shy to use a big fly. Bigger the bait, bigger the fish. Come on, eat it. Oh. Yeah. This is definitely the hot spot, no doubt. Nice fish. <laughs> Look at that, man. That's sick. What's making the knot on here? The fly line or the monster? Go on. Come on. Woo, it's a giant. It's a giant. Get the landing it. Woohoo! Two point seven two kilos. 
Five and a half, six pounds. I got a thing. Beautiful. Big flies, deep water, big fish. Holy cow. Oh, look, look, he's digesting fish. Watch this. Look at the size of the fish that this thing ate. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Don't be shy to throw a big fly. My goodness. Go bunny tail. Go bunny tail. Ah, that was awesome. All it took was a quick little fly swap. <laughs> yep, change color if they get too used to the same thing. Using purple, purple, black and red, black and red, switch it up to the complete opposite. White, silver, gold, and they'll grab it. They'll grab it again. Experiencing the wildness of Zimbabwe was only possible with the knowledge and expertise of local guides who have spent their whole lives living here. In the bush, there is always the possibility of crossing paths with large predators or herds of animals that may pose a threat. Visitors cannot simply walk around or explore on their own without the protection of an armed guide. There are very few places like this on Earth. This has given me so much respect for the wildlife and utter appreciation for simply being here. So if you want to come out here, check out Siraj's page. I'll have it linked below. Hooked on safari. Thanks, Will. We'll round it out. <laughs> Thank you.